Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, giving you a an analyst, oh, shall we say, giving you a, a, an insight into the uh, U.S. markets for the trading session Tuesday, 27th of March, 2018. Okay, folks. In terms of the uh, situation overnight, you've had the U.S. markets rallying. I think that's the best, third best rally on the Dow ever. Okay, so a 600-700 point rally, very very impressive, uh, on the back of uh, obviously um, concerns certainly alleviating. Uh, with regards to news that Mr. Mnuchin and uh, obviously the Treasury Secretary uh, uh, certainly um, is liaising with the Chinese counterparts uh, secretly in trying to avoid a potential major confrontation and looking at some sort of resolution there. So again, let's see how that unfolds. Okay, and that certainly has triggered a short squeeze, a very powerful one at that, okay, in US equities. How long will the squeeze last, and uh, what, what, to what extent will, will the squeeze be able to um, obviously move higher? So let's so let's assess that, okay? Because we know the fundamentals, okay. Other than that, you've only got Mr. B Fed member Bostic speaking later on today. Then you've got Red Book and uh, S and P K Shiller Home Price Index, which is Richmond Fed. Nothing of any major importance, okay? Uh, really, from that perspective. So let's see the uh, the actual status quo in terms of the. Um, technical picture for the uh, equities let's start off with the Dow Dow as you can see here very very impressive thrust higher okay uh, we've still got the unfilled gap below though so bear that in mind if any of any negative news on uh, the, say, the situation regarding trade will obviously have an impact you certainly are triggering inverted head and shoulders formation here on the Dow as you can see okay uh, head and then obviously the markets obviously burst higher so currently the uh, Dow, Dow Jones is currently trading around uh, let's have a look down to 24350. So we were at 24200 yesterday, 24350. I mean, the next resistance is 24440 24, around that region. So you're currently trading around the 200 MA. You've got the unfilled gap above at 24700. Let's see if we can fill that in. Okay. Inverted head and shoulders generally tends to be bullish. Now, the 60 minute chart, we're back into previous support equals resistance. Watch out there. And the daily chart certainly has held that double bottom on the uh, Dow. Jones okay in terms of the S&P 500 let's look at the S&P now S&P in, in, into resistance at 2660 currently trading around 2670 zone which is around at 200 MA so watch out for resistance there you've got the unfilled gap above at 2712 uh, that's quite impressive I mean quite quite impressive obviously you've broken out the downward sloping trend line uh, you've still got the unfilled gap left below so just be wary okay markets always tend to pivot towards gaps and uh, makes the market very vulnerable You've got this inverted head and shoulders formation, as you're already aware. So very similar to the Dow. Okay, so watch out for that pattern. Okay, so again, inverted head and shoulders formation target. Let's just have a look at the target here. IHS equals taking it around 2642. Your pivot low is around 2585. Uh, yep, 2585. 2645, let's just say 2045, 2585 uh, gives you around 60 points. Yep, okay, so 95, 05, and you're looking at 60 points, so uh, you're looking at 2705 target on the upside. Okay, that's your upside target on the inverted head and shoulders formation. We're currently already around 2675. Now, what's interesting is that 2712 equals gap fill, and the IHS target is 2705. So let's see how that unfolds again. Um, bear that in mind. So, looking for some consolidation before we actually attempt to close that gap. Moving on to the 60 minute chart here. Uh, again, you're still in lower lows, lower highs. So, just bear that in mind as well. Trend still remains lower. Okay. So, still remains lower, lower lows, lower highs. We are now coming into this resistance zone here. Use your Fibonacci retracement, pivot high to pivot low. And your Fib 61 is 2680. So, just bear that in mind. So, Really, the, the S&P really is into some trouble now, okay? Um, around the 2680, even around the 2650, 2660 zone. Anywhere around this zone now, you are looking at lower lows, lower highs. U.S. equities, concerns regarding Mr. Trump's uh, personal life, uh, given the uh, accusations against him for cheating and so on and so forth. And then adding the fact that uh, you've got a situation regarding uh, his own litigation team walking out on him, okay? His legal team uh, walking out saying that he doesn't take any advice which really is obviously pretty normal for him. He doesn't really have much of a brain. Uh, and then obviously the situation regarding China, uh, although we have had some sort of uh, alleviation of those concerns at present on the back of 
potential hope for a resolution so again those factors certainly come into play here as well okay so keep an eye on the s p on the daily chart bear in mind we've held that potential double bottom of 200 ma how long do we hold that for we do have the unfilled gap above which you're already aware of you've got a gap here watch out for this gap and this gap here so any potential thrust higher target those gaps so you've got 27 around 2710 and then 2750 so those two gaps certainly will be quite important okay um, again you've got previous resistance equals support okay that's the status quo on the s p 500 let's move over to the nasdaq now let's see exactly where we are i mean that's a th impressive thrust from the nasdaq okay very impressive thrust okay so just have to admire that thrust really that's all one can do okay so in terms of the market now we've broken out all, through all those uh, key important levels okay so again inverted head and shoulders formation here as well uh, your left shoulders here okay so putting your right shoulder which really will circumspect now given the fact that the fa facebook has a, a potential investigation ongoing now uh, tech stocks uh, from my perspective certainly will be under immense pressure okay so i mean you've hit 6750 yesterday we've hit uh, 6800 so you you, you were a gap filled at 6850 so just bear that in mind gap filled 6850 we're certainly not expecting that gap to close looking at resistance at 6795 you got resistance here at 6790 you got resistance here at 6810 okay then obviously eventually you got gap filled at 6850 which really is unlikely very very unlikely to be closed okay so just bear that in mind like inverted head and shoulders formation if we do go ahead even though I don't like the right shoulder, uh, we've still had held fib 75%, so you've got to give it some credit there. Uh, IHS target equals, so your neckline is around 6660 or evil number, and 6508, so let's just say 666 minus 6508, make it easier. Okay, so you're looking at 160 points uh, move, okay, 160 point move on the upside, so 160. Uh, plus that's uh, 728, uh, 828, uh, 6828, yeah, okay, 6728, 6828 on the upside, uh, we're already there, basically, 6810 uh, now, 6815, we just hit 6828, not so long ago, okay, I think we've hit 6825 so far, okay, so again, that certainly is indicating resistance now, let me just, one second, move this to a side, okay, uh, get rid of this, Okay, so that's basically where we are. So the inverted head and shoulders formation target has moved. So you've rallied from 6530 all the way up to 6820. So, I mean, <laughs> almost a 300-point rally. I mean, that's impressive. That is very, very impressive. Okay, on the NASDAQ alone, 300-point rally. Unbelievable. Okay, well, that's the status quo, okay, in terms of NASDAQ. Okay, that's where we are. And that's basically where we're heading, right? So keep an eye on that potential inverted head and shoulders formation. 60-minute uh, chart on the Nasdaq at the moment. Uh, you, again, you're already aware you've got the gap fill here. Uh, previous resistance equals uh, previous resistance. Uh, previous support equals resistance. So expect resistance around the 6805. That's a level that I've gone short. You've got diagonal trend line as well around that 6800 level. So again, looking for resistance, looking for a move lower. Okay, so that's the status quo. Okay, lower lows, lower highs remain the theme. Uh, still no stabilization. Bear in mind uh, the situation regarding Facebook. The, uh, the accusations that he's been storing data for two years and text messages, mobiles. It really is an international spy agency, that uh, Facebook, really, from that, from that perspective. So, again, very intrusive. Uh, get rid of your Facebook, that's what I can say to anyone, unless if you want your text messages and your phone calls or listen to third parties, individuals, etc., having access to your information. Nothing's private anymore. It's sickening. It's crazy. Get away. Get rid of it. Okay, that's what I would say to anyone. Unless you're using it for businesses to promote, etc., that's different. From promotion etc if you're using it for marketing that's okay one could argue that uh, that's the case but make sure you put minimum amount of data on there otherwise you're in trouble you're in trouble okay anyway either way that's the situation depends on what your own obviously personal uh, opinion on is on uh, civil liberties etc uh, etc et so okay so in terms of um, situation here uh pivot high to pivot low you're looking at six uh, seven seventies uh, your fib 61 and then 6825 your fib 75 so not expecting the nasdaq go above that fib 75 percent if it does it's very very impressive and i have to take my hats off my stop losses around 6845 okay so that's the status quo uh, of the uh, the nasdaq at present uh, i really think i've covered all us main us equities uh, and that's basically where we stand i can go further but then this law 
this video will be way too long. So from my perspective, certainly looking for resistance now, looking for weakness and looking for a potential move lower. On that basis, please be sure to visit CFDs.com for your trading needs and take advantage of the bonus. Okay, and also visit the uh, Trade Signal app, latest app, download it from the Google Play and the Apple App Store. On that note, goodbye now.